Okay, here's some more of homework uh, problems from section 4.1. This is number 19, and now what we want to do on these, and you read your book, it says convert each angle in radians to degrees. So we've got um, number 21, we've got pi over 2 radians. So we're going to use the conversion fraction. We're just going to flip it. We know that there's 180 degrees for pi radians. All right, there's 360 degrees for 2 pi radians. There's 180 degrees per pi radians. So we just write it and write our degrees, and we'll see that the radians cancel. And actually, the pi's cancel. And that's nice. And 2 goes into 180 how many times? 90, so that's 90 degrees. We kind of talked about that earlier, that that was one that we'll use a lot. And I kind of showed you how we could derive that. But this is an easy way to convert it. Okay, the same thing over here on number 23. We'll again multiply by the conversion. We know that there's 180 degrees per pi radians. So always write these down. I know sometimes you guys just want to write down the answers, but try to show all this because this is going to make it a little bit easier. And again, you can see that the radians cancel and the pi's cancel. 3 goes into 180 how many times? 60. And what's 2 times 60? 120 degrees. Okay, so pretty easy. And if I multiply this, this is going to be times uh, 180 degrees per pi radians. And again, the pi's cancel and the radians cancel. 6 goes into 180 how many times? Three, uh, uh, 30. 3, 0. And what's 7 times 3? 21, so it's 210 degrees. Pretty easy, huh? Goes in there 30 times. Cross that out. 6 goes in there 30 times. 7 times 30 is 210. And the last one, again, there's 180 degrees. 180 degrees per pi radians. So that's important that you understand those basic concepts. And then the pi's cancel. I'll show you this in this one. Here the pi's cancel. And here the radians cancel. So what's left is negative 3 times 180. So I've got negative. And 3 times uh, 8 is 24. Carrier 2, 3 times 2 is 5, so that's 54 with a 0 degrees. Okay. So if that makes sense, should be pretty easy.